Hey YouTube, I'm Lucky and this week's Trials map is Altar of Flame and so what I want to do is go over a video showing you some really crazy and really sneaky spots that you can go to when playing on Altar of Flame because these can actually give you a good advantage if you're trying to evade supers or if you're trying to just be extra sneaky and maybe win a 1v3 in Trials of Osiris. So the first spot I want to show you is actually right here in the spawn. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to swap to a sword to my hilt. Uh, when you swing with your sword, it actually stops all your momentum. So sometimes it's really, really good for landing on these little tiny lips and little tiny ledges. But you can actually see I'm aiming right here. You can land all the way up here. Uh, this is not a spot I would recommend going to just uh, right off the rip in as soon as the game starts because uh, the radar is there and people will see you on the radar and they'll, they can see the radar flickering and they can tell that you're you know, doing something funky. They'll think you're probably, you know, crouching in a corner back here, but eventually they'll figure out where you are. So I would not recommend just jumping into a pigeon spot and hot camping there, or hiding there the entire game. This is more for like evading uh, supers or for, you know, preventing someone or for trying to win a 1v3 situation type of thing. So you can see right there, I can actually get up here. And once I'm up here, I'm totally stuck up here. I can, I'm not stuck, but I can move around, but I stay up here and I can shoot people that come this way. I can snipe people that are way over here. And you have a crazy angle up here, one that people are just not going to see generally. So this is the first spot I'm going to show you. This is a really good one. Um, I've covered all these spots in a video before, but this was way before trial. So I want to cover it again and show you guys that these spots still work uh, and they could work for you in this week's Trials of Cyrus. The next spot that I'm going to show you is one that my friend Roxley is using a lot this week. And this spot is actually really sneaky and really good because it gives you a really good lane across the middle of the map. You can see right here. Once you're up here, you can snipe people that look over there and they really, it's really, really hard to see you. The sun has you up here and even if you are sniping, the glint from your sniper is really hard to detect up here. So this is a really crazy spot. And what's especially funny is when people are in supers, uh, try to catch you up here. Like some supers don't have any sort of, you know, ranged attack. So they literally just will swing around like crazy down there and you can just completely prevent them from getting you. And conversely though, if you don't like that spot or if you don't want to jump up to someplace high, one spot that I actually use pretty regularly is this little tiny ledge here. This isn't really a sneaky spot per se, like people know about this and you're not really hidden very well, but it's definitely easier to get to than one up there. Um, also keep in mind that hunters, titans, and warlocks can get into all of these spots. You just have to be creative about it. Uh, I would highly recommend to go into a private match beforehand and make sure you actually like test these out because you don't want to try and jump up there mid game because the pressure of doing it and having never done it before is going to make it really difficult and you probably aren't going to be able to pull it off first try. You're going to need to go into a private match like I'm doing here and you know demonstrate it or try it out for yourself a few times before you actually be able to make it happen all right the next one i'm going to show you is actually in this dark hallway here um i don't really like this spot that much because it's kind of hard to get into every time i've tried to get up in here in the middle of a game it's been really difficult to do and you know if you're in the middle of a trials game and you have to try two or three times the, the odds are that you're going to get sniped or picked off by someone and so it's not going to work out very well for you but if you do jump up here you can sort of bounce around and, and show up here for a little bit enemies definitely don't look up here too often um if there's find themselves circling around on the radar they will look up and see you but it's pretty easy to shoot someone from up here and if you have to you can just simply drop down and attack them there we go now i'm going to show you uh what the next one is this one i would much prefer and much rather do is you jump right up to here essentially you're just going to jump onto that ledge right there and it's really easy to do the only thing you got to keep in mind is that there's a barrier around this area like from this point to this point, there's a barrier, so make sure you jump outwards into it. Um, but you can see I got into that one first try. Literally didn't even have to edit the video or cut it at all. And I can probably do it every single try because it's so, so, so easy to get into. So there you have it, two in a row. This spot is really sneaky. Um, I would not recommend shooting people from here at all because they tend to not get killed fast enough and they tend to run around the corner. I usually just ju jump up here to evade supers and then run the other direction so that way I can get back to my teammates or get a revive on my team. All right, the next spot that I'm gonna show you is actually from this spawn side and it's this little lip right here. You can see this little ledge that I'm looking at. That right there you can stand on and when you stand on it, you end up getting the nastiest head glitch I've seen like in any map ever. So it's not really like a glitch spot. It's just a smart spot to go to. Um, it does seem to require a sword. I've gotten up here without a sword before, but a sword makes it a lot easier because it slows your momentum down. You jump up, you swing your sword and you end up standing up here. It might take you a try or two and that's the part that can be a little bit troublesome, but just try not to be careful. Try to not to hold down the W key as you do it, so that way you'll end up slowing all that momentum down. But once you're up here, it's crazy. I mean, sniping from here, when people come around that corner, they're not going to counter snipe you. It's going to be really difficult to do. So this is a really sneaky spot. And uh, if you absolutely have to, you know, if you're rotating throughout the map, I would recommend using that. Obviously, if you just spawn in on the map, I wouldn't go there because you have to sit there for so long before anyone even comes around the corner to peek. But it is definitely a strong spot and one I recommend. 
And with all those, that's going to sum up this video. Now, there are more spots on this map, but that's the, those are the only ones that I actually think are really practical and actually going to do some good for you inside Trials of Osiris. Obviously, there's lots of other crazy spots and crazy things you can do. I could show you all of those, but honestly, I'm just giving you the ones that are actually practical and worth your time because uh, if I show you a spot that's crazy, like there's one spot on this pillar right here, but if you fall off, you end up falling off the map every time. That's not very practical, and you're not going to want that. So if you've enjoyed this and you find these spots to be fun and useful for you in Trials, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. I appreciate y'all watching. Later.